Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the School District of Springfield Township Board of School Directors Interim Board Meeting, September 6, 2016. Happy back to school, everyone. Yay. <laughs> we had an executive session at 6.30 p.m. prior to this meeting to discuss personnel matters. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America Reading of the mission statement, Ms. Sarsfield. The mission of the School District of Springfield Township is to educate and develop all students as learners and citizens who are high achieving, resilient, and responsible in a changing global community. Thank you. Roll call, Mr. King. Mr. Chapman. Here. Ms. Casales. Mr. Lapidus. Here. Ms. Nelson. Here. Mr. Rayer. Ms. Sarsfield. Here. Dr. Taratuski. Mr. Taylor. Here. Ms. Slapinski. Announcements. The board at its discretion may videotape all or any portion of public board meetings subject to the limitations set forth in policy 006.2, broadcasting of meeting. Board meetings will be broadcast on Friday afternoon following the board meeting. Are there any public comments on agenda items? Administrative Report, Dr. Nancy Hacker. Thank you, Mrs. Slapinski, and welcome back, everyone, to the start of a brand new school year. And uh, looked from the excited faces on the children coming back and the older students coming back, that they actually seem relieved <laughs> to be back and starting a new school year. And especially those who unfortunately trekked back from the shore early and had to give up those last remaining days on the boardwalk and wherever else, I think for the most part, the kids seemed very, very happy. And it was nice to be able to hold the hands of the little kindergartners and first graders and walk them down to their classrooms this morning. So in all of the schools, I was really thrilled to see smiling faces on the kids. So that being said, the one major glitch that we seem to have happen this year has some good news and some bad news. And the bad news, of course, is there was some confusion over some of the buses at the schools this morning, which I know is always distressing for parents as well as the students, particularly the little ones. But we believe we've straightened the problem out. And the problem resulted from the fact, and this is the good news, that we had several old school buses that have been replaced with new school buses. And that's always a good thing from a, a safety perspective. Unfortunately, the buses arrived towards the tail end of last week and didn't give us a lot of opportunity to scramble to get those new bus numbers out and publicized to the public. So there were some glitches this morning. We sincerely apologize for any of the students or families that were impacted by those issues. We always have bus issues issues at the beginning of the school year. It takes about two weeks in order to work things out with bus schedules and to find out who really is coming and showing up at the bus stops and so forth. So we ask that people are patient, but I believe we've resolved the issue that we felt most strongly today in terms of the bus numbers. There is not only information on the website, but a school messenger message actually went out to all of the families later late this afternoon announcing that people can go back onto the website, take a look at those new bus numbers so there won't be any surprises tomorrow. I know that at Enfield in particular, our new principal who we'd like to welcome, Kathy Van Voren. Kathy has already started and Kathy was working with Mr. Johnston this afternoon in order to rectify those bus issues. So everyone has been working very diligently today to try to straighten things out so we don't have the same issues tomorrow. 
The second thing that I just wanted to briefly address with everyone because we know that there were many concerns expressed and for good reason in the community is about our football program. And as everybody is very much aware at this po point, unfortunately, um, we did have to cancel our varsity schedule this year as the result of the fact that we had not only numerous injuries in the preseason, which severely reduced our numbers coming out for the team, but in general, a very low number of students coming out to play football. And of those students, a significant proportion of them were freshmen who, as we know, unfortunately, are less physically developed and really ready to handle the rigors of varsity football as more experienced players are by their junior or senior year. So for all of these reasons, giving the weight of those students and our concern about putting them up against much larger schools who have significantly larger players, the decision was made to play a JV season rather than a varsity season. I do want to correct a misimpression that I have heard that is out there, which is that we are not playing any football at all. That is not correct. We will be playing a JV schedule within our league and our conference, so we will still have games. I've spoken to both Dr. Rittenhouse and Mr. Payne to address the issue of Friday night football, and we are working very diligently to see whether or not there is room in the schedule for us to be able to schedule something for Friday evenings. Of course, as much as we desire that, we have to have a willingness and a commitment from some of the other teams that we play as well. So we are trying to facilitate that. We're hoping to be able to schedule at least something for that Friday evening, including homecoming and possibly a senior night as well. So we know it's been a big disappointment for the community, certainly for our players and for the coach as well as for Dr. Rittenhouse and Mr. Payne, but given the situation, we do feel it was the most appropriate decision to make. So thank you everyone for your support and your understanding of that. Thank you for that update, Dr. Hacker. Moving on to new business. Number one, personnel. Personnel attachment. Recommended motion. The Board of School Directors approves the following personnel as presented in the attachment. Administrative personnel, certificated personnel, support personnel, temporary personnel, extra pay for extra responsibilities, conference workshop attendance. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Any questions or comments? Aye. Number two, approval of maintenance contract. Recommended motion. The Board of School Directors approves the attached project agreement with Burns Mechanical Inc. in the amount of $3,240 to complete the administrative building HVAC project, attachment H. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Any questions or comments? Mr. Chapman, I, Mr. Lapidus, Ms. Lapidus, Ms. Lapidus, Ms. Lapidus, Ms. Lapidus, Ms. Nelson, Ms. Sars. Aye. Number three, approval of sale of bus. Recommended motion. The Board of School Directors approves the sale of 2001 Bluebird 72 passenger bus to Philmont Christian Academy in the amount of $2,000. Is there a motion? Second. Any questions or comments? Aye. Number four, Cristaldo Associates, Inc. contract, recommended motion. 
The Board of School Directors approves the agreement between the School District of Springfield School District and Cristaldo Associates, Inc. for the on-site interpreting services for the 2016-2017 school year as per the attached attachment I. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Any questions or comments? I, I just, can you clarify interpreting, what kind of interpreting this is for? Just, I just need to clarify. For deaf individuals. Thank you. Hearing impaired. Aye. I just want to note for the role that Mr. Rayer is now here. Number five, MCIU Staffing Services Agreement, School Psychologist Recommended Motion. The Board of School Directors approved the Temporary Staffing Services Agreement with the Montgomery County Intermediate Unit for school psychologist support beginning September 6, 2016 through February 1, 2017 at a per diem rate of $500 per day, attachment J. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Any questions or comments? Mr. King? I. <laughs> it's confusing everyone. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, number seven. Schrader Group Architecture, LLC. Recommended motion. The Board of School. Number six. Oh, I'm sorry. See, I got all confused. Okay, number six. Approval of the NAFME, National In-Service Conference and All National Mixed Choir Festival. Recommended motion. The Board of School Directors approves Andrew Puntel to attend the NAFME, National In-Service Conference and All National Mixed Choir Festival, November, 7, November 10th through the 13th, 2016 in Grapevine, Texas. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Any questions or comments? I'd like to just make one comment to clarify. As the board is aware, we normally put conference attendance in our personnel attachment. The reason this was pulled out as a separate agenda be is because the reason that Mr. Puntel is going to this conference is to accompany one of our students who you may remember from last year who was recognized here when we brought in the music awards, Alyssa Kerr. Alyssa was selected to participate in the National Association for Music Educators 2016 All National Chorus. And it's the first time any student from our school district has ever been selected for that honor. So we thought that it was great for Alyssa to go. Her mother is also going and will be there to support her as well. So that's why we have a separate agenda item for this. Aye. Um, number seven, Schrader Group Architecture, LLC, recommended motion. The Board of School Directors approves Schrader Group Architecture, LLC, as the architect of record for projected high school renovations and the construction of a new K-2 elementary school, pending solicitor review and agreement of a contract for those projects. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Any questions or comments? Um, I would like to make a comment. Um, congratulations, Schrader Group, for um, coming on board with us to do these very exciting projects. 
Um, for at least the last probably six months to a year, we have been interviewing architects and we have finally made our decision and I am very excited to move forward. And I'll just add on to what Mrs. Slipinski said. I want to thank the property committee of the board who really did their homework and took an extensive amount of time really deliberating and reviewing a lot of the information that we were able to provide the committee, which included results of visits to many of the schools that were designed by the architects that we considered as part of the running for this project. We also presented a considerable amount of information based on experiences from other school districts that we were aware of. It was not an easy decision. All of the architects that were finalists that actually presented before the board in the spring, the late spring, were excellent contenders, excellent design specialists. We heard rave reviews about all of them. Um, but what was outstanding, I think, about the Schrader Group, and you'll probably agree with me, is the um, creative flair so to speak, that they really bring to their work and their originality and innovative ideas and so forth. And we were very impressed with one of the elementary schools that we actually visited in Bristol Township. And so I think they're going to be um, really a great choice for us. Mr. Thorne and Mr. King and I had a wonderful about two and a half hour meeting with the Schrader Group and they've already proven to be very, very amenable to a number of our ideas as willing to, and eager and willing to really start the project. So we're very excited that we've now entered the next phase, which is really looking at an actual timeline for our project. So it's all very, very exciting for the district. Um, and one more point that I, I really did feel, and I know a lot of us did feel, that they were very much in tuned to the programming needs of these specific projects. And that was really one of the things that set them apart. Anyone else? Aye. Number eight, salary adjustment for Emily Kerr. Recommended motion. The Board of School Directors approves a salary adjustment and increase for Emily Kerr Human Resources Director in the amount of $20,000 retroactive to July 1st, 2016. Is there a motion? Second. Second. Any questions or comments? Aye. Number nine, salary stipend for Ryan Thomas. Recommended motion. The Board of School Directors approves a one-time salary stipend in the amount of $3,500 for Ryan Thomas, Assistant Principal of Springfield Middle School, in recognition of his assuming additional responsibilities for the leadership of SMS during the absence of Ms. Patterson. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Any questions or comments? Aye. Comment. Um, thank you to the board for your approval of motion number nine, and I just want to say that that additional amount of money will certainly come in handy for Mr. Thomas, who just became a dad for the second time. Um, we're very happy to announce the birth of little Naomi Karen Thomas at 12.50 a.m. And so Ryan is not anticipated to be here this week. Um, he is home, well, I guess he's home. Uh, He'll be back at the hospital, I guess, tomorrow morning. But in any event, we're all very thrilled for Ryan and his expanding family. Are there any public comments on non-agenda items? Future meeting dates, school board meeting, Tuesday, September 20th, 2016, 7 p.m., Freeze Memorial Lobby. 
Interim board meeting, Tuesday, October 5th, 2016, 7 p.m., Freeze Memorial Lobby. Board committee meetings, there's a finance committee scheduled for Tuesday, September 13th, 2016, at 5.30 p.m. in the administrative building. And there is a property committee meeting scheduled for Friday, September 16th, 2016, at 8.15 a.m. in the administration building. And with that, we are done. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Time.